I replayed this mission over and over to try to provide a good, easy to understand uh, video. Unfortunately, I do die a couple of times, but it shouldn't affect the overall quality of the video. The first challenge is very easy. All you have to do is press the right trigger on your controller when the guard comes out of the post to throw your knife at him. After a short firefight, he'll come over here to this building. There'll be the usual locked wooden crate that you'll have to open with your access kit. In there will be uh, some nightingales. These basically uh, emit smoke and make popping sounds to distract your enemy. After you climb in through the skylight, head over here and take out this enemy. As usual, you'll need your access kit to pick the lock of the door. Once inside, you'll grab a flak jacket. After you've gotten your flak jacket, uh, head over here and look for the RPG wielding enemy. If you're lucky, uh, Mason won't kill him. He'll fire his rocket at you and then you should get your challenge. Before you head downstairs, be sure to grab the first piece of intel over to your left. Now this part, you need to make sure you rush down there. And the first thing you should do is... Uh, blow up the plane. Now what I've noticed is uh, I believe the only thing that will really destroy the plane is a rocket as I've tried to blow it up with pretty much everything else and then failed. The reason you want to blow up the jet plane first is if you don't do so an NPC ally will do it for you and you'll miss out on the challenge. Um, you can try throwing the nightingales and then trying to get your uh, 10 uh, machine gun kills truck mounted machine gun kills um, before they start throwing their smoke but it can get kind of difficult to shoot through the smoke as you can't see your enemies but however Mason can and then he'll kill all your enemies or you can do what I did is instead of uh, shoot yourself with uh, an RPG or just uh, cook a grenade and to kill yourself and then just replay this part over and then do whatever it is that you didn't do whether it's the machine gun kills or distracting eight enemies simultaneously with uh, the nightingales After you've acquired Noriega, you'll probably find yourself going down this alleyway. There will be a locked gate which you can uh, open with your access kit. Behind the gate, uh, you'll find some strobes which you can use to mark your enemies. You'll need to get um, 15 kills with these strobes. You only start out with 4, but you can replenish them uh, with your uh, ammo crates. Right here I sped it up because I was actually... Um, mistakenly throwing nightingales and then I let myself get killed thinking that the checkpoint was a uh, quite a bit before then but the checkpoint starts up right where I uh, left off so pretty much just uh, select the strobes and throw them where there are clumps of enemies and then let the uh, air support do its thing
Again, I died here. I got too close to this armored vehicle thing which happened to blow up. Near this region is where the ZPU is. The ZPU is an anti-aircraft gun which you have to destroy. You can s destroy it by simply uh, shooting at it with your uh, one of your guns. Uh, however, if you have a rocket or a grenade launcher, that'll probably be more effective, as it can take a while uh, destroying it simply with your bullets. Now here is the second piece of intel inside this building. There's also some ammo crates to refill your ammo. If you haven't gotten your uh, 15 uh, kills with your strobes, uh, continue to use them. After you go through the door, you'll find yourself in the clinic. This place is a fucking mess. Pretty soon after you get in, you'll find the first, third uh, piece of intel. I know it's pretty dark here, even though I have my brightness setting set pretty high. And the reason I'm crouching here is because I was looking at a dead rat. Which, again, you can't see probably due to the darkness. These dark places don't uh, show up too well in the recording. Okay, now right here, after you try uh, helping this uh, nurse who's caught under the pieces of lumber, you'll have to get eight kills. Now it can be kind of tricky, as sometimes Mason team, uh, seems to kill a whole lot of them. I guess my advice would be to use extended magazines or you know the fast mags, or have a two primary weapons and quickly switch from one to the other or possibly even uh, run down that hallway as the fir very first time I did this I ran down the hallway and then they all seemed uh, to gather up on me and then ignore Mason however I uh, I didn't record that now once you go up the stairs uh, you'll find yourself being attacked by your own air support because you're marked with an IR strobe due to the actions of uh, annoying Noriega now this part can be kind of annoying, especially if you're going for the 100% survivability challenge. Uh, my recommendation is uh, don't run, even though the helicopter or whatever it is is firing hundreds of bullets at you. Kind of just, I'm not sure exactly what pace it is good at to go, but don't run. Simply walk, except for the last portion in which you need to run in order to, make, in order to I guess, what's the word, get the clearance for your jump. Checkpoints up ahead. 